Are we live? We think we're live. We've got a little bit of a delay, so we can't see what's going on on here. That's just in case Kyle says something that's really bad and we have to edit it out, right? That's that's the good thing. Can everyone hear us? Is there sound? Are we good? Go ahead and chime in. Leave us a comment if uh, you, we have audio and you guys can see us. That's my phone. I'm in the comments, guys. So let's do some shout outs. <laughs> So far we got some good people. Yes you are, okay. Can everyone hear us well? YouTube, can we see YouTube comments? I got YouTube comments here. So uh, guys, this is something that we're trying for the very, very first time. And um, we are live right now on YouTube and Instagram. So uh, whoever, wherever you're joining us from, welcome. Welcome to Civivi Studio USA. I'm Seth Erkenbrack, Marketing Director for We Knife. And this I'm Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle. I don't have a fancy title, so it's but we're good. You guys can give <laughs> give give Kyle a title in the comments. We've been looking for a good title for Kyle, so please help us out. <laughs> um, a couple of things: we have um, our customer service team is on to answer questions on Instagram and YouTube. Um, on Instagram, they will be commenting using the account Civivi Fan Photos. And that's because they can't be logged into the account that we're going live from. So when you do see comments, um, or if you're asking questions and they're responding to you in the comments, that is our official customer service team. Thank you very much for being here. And um, they're also on the YouTube channel, so they will be commenting and answering questions um, as the official CVV YouTube channel. So there we go. We are uh, viewers are coming in, and um, we have a, a bunch of things to go over as we usually do. So this video is going to take place of the normal videos that we would do in um, a recorded status, um, and so this will post, and you'll be able to go back and reference it later. Um, we're going to talk about the new couple of new versions that are available. We're going to talk about uh, the new Civivis that are available today. So during this broadcast, you can actually head over to like Knife Center in your other window, and you can start making your purchases or. Blade HQ or whoever you buy from, um, you can go ahead and do that if you like. Um, we have the D Art, we have the Ostoppel Tie Bar, and the Civivi Orthrus. But first of all, let's get started with a couple of new versions of a classic. Guys, we have two new versions of the Civivi Elementum. First up, we have a a uh, very, very classy looking wood handled with Damascus blade. Um, and this is just like, there There were two versions of the uh, Civivi fixed blade Elementum previously. Um, one with the contoured handle and one with the flat handle that came with the Kydex sheath. So this is uh, the same as the flat handled version, but it's wood instead of G10. And we've got Damascus. And then we go with a nice satin blade and micarta handle. So all the fixed blade goodness, just with some different flavor to it. Um, on, honestly, these are some super cool variations that add to the lineup of the element and fixed blade. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, comes with the, the classic sheath. So you gonna pick one of these ones up? Am I gonna pick one up? Well, I already <laughs> have the, the flat. The um, normal ones? The normal one? <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm good for now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I do like I do like this Damascus. Um, if you take the scales off, you'll see that it, the Damascus is you know full tang all the way down. Um, so I think that's just really cool. That's cool. You can even do like your own wrap if you want to. You could, you could, or but just leave the scales off so the, that you can see the Damascus. That's right. And the wood does look really nice. That looks sleek. It does. It does. All right. Chime in if you already have a fixed blade elementum. Let us know. We are going to do some giveaways here tonight too. Uh, a couple of different times throughout mm -hmm. the night. So uh, we'll figure out some fun ways to do some giveaways here. Who has a fixed blade Elementum and do you like it? Let us know. All right. Also, face towards you because I can't rotate the top Gotcha. Jordan's giving us pointers on, uh, on our uh, view, views here. Okay. Dude, Taylor has five. Five fixed blade elementums? Five fixed blade elementums. That's a lot of fixed blade elementums. Way to go, man. Way to go. And yes, Adventure Man, that fixed blade elementum is fire. You're absolutely right. <laughs> On our YouTube comments. Um, you know what? 
I'm gonna, there's a, there's a question that just came in that I, I see here that I'm gonna go ahead and answer. Um, it says, uh, from Matt Smith, it says, sensitive question. Were there any Isham designs, Isham designed knives that he was working on with y'all, not released yet at the time of his passing? He was my favorite designer. Um, thanks for bringing that up. Uh, just, and I thought we'd just take just a second since I saw that in here to let you guys know that, um, that it is a real tragedy. Um, we're gonna miss him. Um, we do not currently have anything in development with him. Um, he, uh, he was talking to us about a new button lock design, um, but we never got to the point of, of getting any designs or any information or anything like that. So, um, yeah, very, very, very sad thing. Um, tra a tragedy that, uh, you know, we're going to miss him in the, in the knife world, but, um, we have his, uh, we have uh, a little bit of stock of his, um, previous designs, um, that are, um, available um, in limited quantities, but um, that's all that we're ever going to have, I guess, from Elijah. Yeah. <laughs> it is sad. It is. Okay, thanks for that question. All right. Forever a fan of my S35 Jade Elementum. That's a Blade HQ exclusive. That is. When is Kyle going to design a knife, and will it be called the LDT Lion Defense Tool from <laughs> Tyler Barnes? That's good. That's good. I think the L LDT is something that needs to happen. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, uh, good comment. This is worth it going live just for the just it's to just give comments. The, the comments. It's just comments. Love it. Love it. All right. There were some funny names. Let's see if I go back that far. But the lion tamer was one of them. The keeper of the blades was one. Okay. For my title. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kyle the creator. <laughs> yeah, there are some funny ones. I like Good job, it. Guys. I like it. Okay. Let's uh, let's go. What are we giving away? Uh, we're gonna give away one of the Orthos knives. You want? Well, let's let's save that. No, no, no. Let's let's save that. <gasps> we're we're gonna okay. okay. He, he, it, he, it. he brought it out. We're going to give this away. Guys, this one, we had uh, an event here in Utah um, on Saturday, and Tony Sentmanat from Real World Tactical was out here in Utah for this event with Utah Shooters, and we had a booth there, and so Tony came over and he signed a bunch of these um, Orthrus knives. So, we have one of those that we retained to give away um, in this broadcast here, so... We will give that away. Let's hit um, the tie bar and the D art, and then we'll uh, hit the Orthos last. We'll hit that last. I have more to say. I have more to say about that knife. So, I brought it up too soon, guys. Yeah. Okay. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't write a script, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I figured. I figured that way. We figure it's a little more uh, entertaining because you get to see all the goofs. <laughs> the goofs are good. All right. Okay. Tie, tie bar. Bars? Go ahead. Guys, we know you're not supposed to be prying with your knives. Don't do it. Don't do it. That voids your warranty. So, what's not better? A little tiny pry bar for all your prying needs. Okay, full titanium, some cool little accents. The flats are just ground flat, so you can kind of see that they shine. How big is this? I'm going to pull up your specs on that. I want to say like right an inch now. and a half. We'll see how close I am. It's super lightweight. Um, it is solid titanium. It is 1.7 inches in length. Like, just for a reference, guys, look, we'll do this on a one, $1 bill. How big this is? It's it's not very big. It's going to go great on your keys. It's a little guy. Yeah, lightweight. So, I don't like stuff on my keys, my keychain. I have the key bit, though, okay. because, again, it's a, it's a little titanium. Yeah. Tiny piece about the same size as this, also designed by Ostapel, same designer. Oh, yeah. Um, and this yeah. can fit on my keychain because it's so small and so lightweight. Um, and by the way, I, I want to mention the uh, the anodizing on these is awesome. I was sitting here earlier and I was yeah, I was using these particular these specific uh, models to uh, work on some ulti clip screws mm -hmm. as in my screwdriver. And I thought I was marking them up and then I just wiped it with my finger and oh, wow. it was actually scraping off the. Well, screw, tie's pretty strong. Will we'll, yeah. we'll work pretty well with that. So. Mm -hmm. The finish, the finish is really nice. Stays on really well, um, guys. These things weigh uh, 0.29 ounces, 8.3 grams. Nothing. Was the was the the length? Length is uh, 1.7 inches. I said an inch and a half, so I was close. Close. Um, it is 0.64 inches. 
top to bottom, if that makes sense, and then uh, 0.18 inches thick. So just like a super thick blade stock. Yeah. About. And it's it's not like, it's still gonna work for you, yeah, all your prying needs, because you still got a nice little edge right there, so mm -hmm. you can even use this as like a flathead screwdriver if you need to. Yeah, it came down, I, that's what I was using it for, um, was a, a flathead screwdriver, and the, the thickness of the pry bar portion was like perfect for that. Yeah. It worked really good. Sometimes you use these more than you think, so pick one up and watch. I bet you within the first two days you'll be you'll use it a handful of times. This is very, very true. All right, let's check uh, let's check comments here real quick. Let's see uh, how much if we got is any this? questions. How much is it? Good question. I should I should know. It's uh, MSRP is twenty seven, so you're gonna see that for a little bit less at dealers. All right. So I'm saying we should do one a little bit larger. What grade? Um, a larger version. What grade? It's the 64L4V. Say, say it 10 times fast. 64L4V. <laughs> Jordan, if you see anything else uh, interesting back there, then be sure and let us know. Not that everyone's comments aren't interesting. Some are just more interesting than others. Someone said we should flip really small pancakes with it. Sure, sure. <laughs> Some, somebody else says uh, somebody else says we'll clean your ear with it. I mean, is it, are my ears dirty or are Kyle's ears dirty? That, that well, they're not gonna fit in there, guys. <laughs> good for popping beer cans. Ooh, um, that yeah. that's a good point. Yeah, if you get a super <laughs> super stiff tab, <laughs> um, fingers can't do it. This little um, fuller down the middle of it, if we call it that, is is really pretty. I, that's that's the one thing that I really like about this, is just the, the beauty of it. Um, the lines are just clean, and it's uh, it's pretty, man. That's nice. Alec Alexander, <laughs> this pry bar's not doing anything, nothing to a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Seth Millen, Seth shares my name. Seth says, what is your favorite Civivi knife you never leave home without? Great question. Um, the thing is, I rotate knives so much because I'm always carrying like a new, so whatever it is coming out that's new, that I don't necessarily have one that I never leave home without. Um, probably the closest would be the Civivi bow, as far as the one that I that I have most consistently. Really nice knife. Find the Civivi account. Uh uh. We may have been kicked off Instagram. I yeah. I, I, life I, live stream went gone on Instagram. Uh oh. Look, get, try and look up the account because it says user not found. Oh dear. We may have been breaking. If you're if you're still on YouTube, sorry guys, we're having some technical difficulties with Instagram. Civivi knife. B with like two, so this is a, a blank page. Yeah, I think you're right. We're in Instagram jail. Uh oh. All right, well, we're gonna keep things going here on our. Was that we? Or is that this is CVV? Guys, if you know anybody over at Instagram, <laughs> it appears that we have just lost our Instagram account on Civivi live. So That's, there we go. It's all live, guys. So YouTube, here we go. <laughs> all right. I won't even bother telling you to switch over from Instagram to YouTube because you're already here. I'm going to head I'm gonna head over to YouTube so I can see the comments. <laughs> all right. Dang it. Oh, boy. All right. Okay, next knife. Next knife up. We have, what do we got here? <laughs> yep, you've been zucked. You've, you've been zucked. <laughs> <laughs> next up, we have the D-Art fixed blade uh, neck knife. Now this is another Osapel design. Should we, should we do the, the gopher? So here's the thing, here's the thing. Every time I, we put up a post on uh, on our previous 
privately owned Instagram account, we would get comments about, <laughs> we would get comments from people saying that um, it looks like a throwing knife, right? And I I'm only like jesting because I'm freaking out inside that that just happened and I'm trying to not <laughs> freak out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we had our Wii, our Wii account was uh, shut down or taken away uh, a couple of months ago um, with no explanation. So we will see how this all goes. Um, the D-Art from Ostop Hill. It's a little neck knife. Comes with a Kydex sheath and, um, and a uh, little chain so you can hang it around your neck. Mm. Grab that chain. Do we have it? This one's going to be a little bit hard for you guys to see. We don't have, uh, we don't have real uh, close-up capabilities today on this live feed. But um, they, are, they are out there and they're on our website. The overall length on this is 4.94 inches, just under 5 inches total. Um, the blade, the little cutting edge, is 1.74 inches. And it's only one side. It's, it's only sharpened on one side of that blade. The thickness is 0.12 inches and it weighs 0.55 ounces. It is a D2 blade steel. So... Let's see if we can, let's see if we can throw it. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's, let's stick to go first. All right. You we, get to throw, because obviously when we were testing this out before we went live, we, I, we decided that I'm not a good knife. All player. right. We're going to, we're going to see, we're going to see if we can stick the gopher. Can we, can we see the gopher? Yes. All right. You better, you better move gonna, out of the way. I'm going to move. I don't want to hit, I don't want to stick the Kyle. Oh! <laughs> Trying to get... Oh! Nice! Off the table! Did that bounce up? Yeah, it hit the table. That's crazy. Okay, I want you to pierce its ear. Uh, I don't want to miss and hit the studio. Okay, you're right. So, only, only center shots. Woo! Ooh, almost bullseye. <laughs> Someone says move the laptop. Dude, we're, guys, we're keeping it interesting. <laughs> So, it obviously does work. Look, those are, good, those are good shots. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad for uh, the D-Art, throwing dart. Because um, the name on the knife is like a D-Art, right? It is. Why is it not just like the dart? It looks like a dart. I don't know, maybe it's, a, maybe it's the, the D2 steel. Maybe. Oh. I didn't talk to Osop about this. I, I usually try and get a, um, a little insight onto what he's going doing, but I didn't this time. All right, how's the balance for throwing? <laughs> uh, I don't know that this is actually a throwing dart, guys. I, I, it's this, fun. It's fun for office throwing. Yeah, that target is pretty soft. If you're throwing into wood, I would almost be kind of scared of that tip getting damaged. It's a, it's a very, very fine tip. Okay, and this knife is not like super thick, so it's not an actual throwing knife. So throw yeah. at your own risk if you do throw your dart. I can, D, D -art. I, can, I can tell you though, if you guys get one of these and there's a cardboard box in your office or whatever, you're going to end up throwing it. That's, it'll, that will throw really well into a cardboard box. It will, and it's pretty fun. All right, do not encourage throwing that thing as a hunting weapon. Good point, Christopher. Three, 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 one, two. Uh, disclaimer, this is not a throwing knife or hunting weapon. For those of you that need that disclaimer. More accurate than me with my Glock. <laughs> Old Savage, that's what she said. What did I say? <laughs> I have no idea what that refers to, but... We said something. I'm sorry. Sorry. No. <laughs> it looks like a giant sewing needle. It kind of does. It, yeah. Maybe you can do some nice sewing if you're sewing something very, very large. Just kidding. Don't sew with that, guys. All right. That is the that's the D art. Any any quick questions from anybody online on uh, YouTube? Well, I mean, YouTube's the only people that are watching because that is correct. Maybe we should have. Aftermarket, yeah. On your uh, sheath, you do have six holes so that you can go in to kind of adjust your clip to wherever you'd like. 
It doesn't come with a clip. So you would have to buy your own aftermarket clip or purchase one of our Civivi clips. Possibly but, a, possibly an ulti clip would be a, a recommended, like very, very small minimalistic clip. Yeah. Something like that could go on Love there. Love the ulti clips. And then it does ship with, in the box, it does have a little a beaded chain. So it comes ready to be your neck knife. Right on. Chop hard, you've got 14 Civivis. Way to go, man. Who else, who can beat, who can beat him? Let us know, let us know your Civivi count in the comments. Is it a double, is it a double bevel? Um, it is, it is sharpened on both sides. I'm oh, sorry. No, sharpened on one, well, the edge, yeah, sorry. Continue. The edge, the edge is sharpened on both sides for a double bevel, if you will. Yes. But only one side of the blade is sharp. So it's not a dagger. With both sides, shot. see, you're, I'm not cutting my finger there. Wouldn't that be crazy if you did that? Oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a, not live. That's not. That would not be cool. <laughs> All right. Nice boot knife. Should yeah. have put an apple on the gopher's head. That would have been a good idea. Somebody hit 127 Canadian knife fiend. Holy cow! Wait, my message retracted. Maybe he doesn't have 127. Okay. Let's um, do, let's, oh, let's do a couple things. We're gonna give away the, we're gonna talk about the Orthrus, we're gonna give it away, and uh, we're gonna give away a uh, Civivi Backlash, because uh, the Backlash is one, is one of our very, very first models and a staple evergreen model that's just awesome. So we're gonna give one of those away for sure. Um, let's talk about the Orthrus. Okay. You guys ready for this? I hope they're ready. So I will say, being we just barely got done with a, an event here in Utah called Shuta. And a lot of people ended up cutting themselves because it's sharp on both sides, guys. When you get this knife, please be careful. Oh, I gotta show, I gotta show what's going on too on the inside of this knife because because of that, and we're and we're serious, and it's it's like slightly humorous but not really um when you when you get this knife it comes with a special caution <laughs> a warning on there because we don't want people pulling it out and cutting themselves so um, there's also a uh, qr code right here that you can scan and it'll take you to a little video where tony's actually talking about the knife a little bit giving you some safety um, tips as well so we are very very serious about um, making sure that as few people as possible hurt themselves with a knife because they just pick it up and put their thumb on it somewhere where they're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. so that's that. So a couple things maybe like just to be careful about too, when you're putting that sheath in, this is a one way of directional, so it does matter which way you're putting it in. Um, it is nice because when you do have it in the sheath correctly, you can have your thumb right there on that, the jimping when you pull it out. So as long as you have the knife and you push, push on the sheath, it will land on the jimping. Um, don't pull it out and go straight to like a full on thumb because yeah, you will cut yourself. But do we want to show this photo? Um, yeah, let's let's talk about let's talk about the origins of this knife right here. So this knife right here was designed by our friend Tony Sentmanat. Um, we're gonna pop a, a photo up on here for those of you that don't know him. Tony runs a company called Real World Tactical. Um, he's got decades of experience in military and law enforcement. Um, and he he took that experience and kind of put that into a blade that he he mentioned that he wished he had something like this when he was on the force. Now, guys, this is not um, an everyday carry knife for EDC um, knife purposes. So that's something that's um, you know when we when we post this, we'll see comments like that. We're like, well, that's if you give it a useful blade, a usable blade, then maybe I'd buy it. Or I really like it, but this and whatever. Um, the thing is, it's not it's not a knife that is made for um, opening your packages and that kind of a thing. This is a self-defense tool that Tony designed with very, very specific purposes. Um, and um, if, uh, did we get that picture up? I didn't even notice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so you guys um, go check him out. If you are not familiar with him, you can find him on Instagram. You can find him in, on YouTube um, under Real World Tactical. Um, again, Tony's his name. And he made this design for us and he wanted a karambit blade. 
um, Kramit style blade, which um, we, it was no problem, you know, we can make that. And then he decided that he wanted a straight blade. And then he said, well, why don't you guys just make it both? And we were like, well, that has not been done before, right? Yeah. I'm like, okay, let's give it a try. And so that's what we did here. We put a button on it and made a blade that can, it's uh, so now we're trying to figure out what to call it because it's like a two position fixed blade, but it's not really a fixed blade. It's not a folder, um, but it is a two position blade that has a button to allow it to move between the straight uh, position and the karambit position. Um, giving you options. And that's what Tony talks about when he talks about this knife is he likes options, you know. Um, when this knife is in your sheath, um, and actually, actually I'm not going to try to go into all of the, all of the, um, the tactical details of a knife because that's not me, but there are some um, videos up. If, actually, if you go and look at our friends Ballistic Dummy Labs, they've got a video up where Tony is introducing the knife at an event previously in the year. Um, and we're gonna have more from Blade Show and things like that where you can hear from you know the real experts on the design of the knife. But it provides options. It can be mounted on your belt using the included Kydex sheath with the T-clip, okay? In the sheath, it works in both the karambit and in the straight position, and it can be changed while it's in the sheath. And just like all the Kydex that CVV does, it's super, super solid. Um, super, super tight lockup. Like, there's no rock in there. There's no shaking. You're not... It's not coming out. It's Once not coming it's in out. There, it's staying in there. It's <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if you build up? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so super sick new knife from Tony. Um, this should be in dealers right now, shouldn't it? It is. Everything that we have showed today is available right now at the dealers. Cool. So you can go pick one up right now. Hop on the Knife Center, hop on Blade HQ, and go get you guys self an, an Orthrus. But can you throw it? Should we throw this at the gopher? No. <laughs> That's a negative. <laughs> I'll, we'll take it outside and throw it. All right. Give it a try. All right. Uh, what kind of a lock does it have? It is a button lock. Um, Oh, that was one thing that I wanted to do was to take one apart for the video here. Um, there's a stop pin inside there. Um, there are uh, bronze washers that uh, the blade pivots on and uh, the button with a plunger that um, allows it to move through those different positions. All right, I'm going to take a quick glance at some comments, some comments here. Try and get some questions answered. Throw your comments in the questions, guys, and we'll try and try and get to them as we see them. Uh, as soon as this one's done, we're going to, uh, guys, we're going to pop over to the Wii YouTube channel here in just a minute. Um, if you're, uh, when we finish up right here. So make sure that you have that one ready to go as well. Um, what's the specs on this guy? What's the blade length? Specs. Good call. This is a Nitro V blade still. With a 3.76 inch blade. So cutting length is going to be different depending on if you got this grind, this part. But altogether, you got a 3.7. You've got the you, um, you've got the spear point shape on the on the top there. It's flat grind a flat grind. Um, the reason that Tony did that is so that you can stab with it. Um, a lot of um, karambit style knives are n only sharp on one side and they're hooked so that you can't really stab. Um, yeah. But again, op more options. Um, it's a uh, it's a it's a mean looking knife. The serrations are only on one side, so they would be the chisels for the serrations, which is nice, so. All right. How much does this weigh? Weight is 4.87 ounces. Cool. Handle thickness is 0.55 inches. The blade thickness is 0.12 inches. Yeah, it's pretty thin. The handle length is 4.3 inches. All right, we've got to do we've got to do a giveaway before we jump over to the other channel. I don't want to make this uh, I don't want to keep this too long. Although uh, I feel like uh, we're getting like more and more people coming in, dropping in. You guys, y'all are late, by the way. Yeah, what the heck? But thanks for coming. <laughs> All right, what do we got in the comments? Nice Father's Day gift. Yes, it would be for the right guy. Did anyone correct Tony's pronunciation of Sabibi? Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, Tony's gonna do what Tony's gonna do, and we love him for it. Let's see. Mick Dundee would approve. All right. Bet it's a pain to sharpen. Uh, World of Grimm's Giver. I'm sure that that's something that a lot of people are thinking. Uh, the thing is, though, my response to that is, this knife is not a knife that's going to get dull. You shouldn't be using it that often. It is meant for a self-defense. <laughs> if, if you're using this often enough that it gets dull, there, there's a problem. Um, but, uh, but yes, it, you're, you're right. I mean, you've got to, if, depending on what kind of a mechanism you're using, you would need to use... Um, Something like a wicked edge for that recurve. Um, you know, you could wet stone the other sides, but yeah, uh, but yeah, um, this knife uh, typically should stay in the sheath. All right, hi Jimmy H. Jimmy. Yuri also says you shouldn't need to sharpen it. You're yes. right. You're right, Yuri. Thank you. <laughs> but it is sharp. It comes out paper. Slicing sharp. Like I said, a lot of people cut themselves handling this at the show we're just currently at. So it, yeah, it it cut more people than uh, all the rest of the knives combined. But um, you know, it's like, a learning curve. It could be just because you're not used to a double-edged knife. Yeah. Right. Well, we had so. one guy. Uh, it was I think it was in some comments on one of our Instagram posts, and the the guy says, "Typically, my new I bleed with every new knife." Every new knife. And he says, he says, but I'm afraid that one would send me to the ER. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think he was going to pass on that. All right, let's do, this, let's do the giveaways. Um, I have an idea for, for this one. Okay. It's going to be based on speed, guys. So, you're going to have to be fast. I'm going to ask a question. And I hope that the first... I hope I don't mess it up. I'm, we'll have Jordan help me. We've got to find the first person that answers correctly. Okay. What is the name of Tony Sentmanat's character in Call of Duty? Ready, set, go! For those of you that did not know, Tony has been made into a character in the video game. My girlfriend, <laughs> Richard. Learning Curve should be the name. I like that. Tony, Ronan, Bob, Orlando, Soap, Ghost, Ramirez. Do you know? I know what it is, but I don't see it yet. Gobbles, Price, Lurch, Beast, oh. Soap. Oh, what? what? There was a Lurch? Or did I give it away? Oh, I see a Lurch. Lurch, C. Lemansky. All right, guys, Lurch is the correct name. C. Lemensky, I think, is the first one. Did anybody get it in before that? <clears throat> that was it. That was the first. So, C. Lemensky. C. Lemansky. C. Lemansky. All right. C. Lemansky, you are the winner of the Sign signed box. by Tony um, Orthrus. In the text in there, he says, Keep crushing life. So. We got to figure out how to get C. Lemensky the knife. C. Lemensky, um, give us a and shoot us an email. Uh, we're gonna have to get your details. Shoot us an email to marketing at weknife.com. Sorry, it took me a second to remember. Marketing at weknife.com, and send us an email, and we will verify you and C. Lemensky. Finally, you... video games pay off. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, we've got a consolation prize before we jump over to the other channel. That... Um, have C. Lemansky put his email in there. That's a, that's a way we can verify him. Good call. So, yeah, Good call. Just have him comment his email. C. Lemansky, if you can, if you'll put your email address in here, then we will contact you directly. Um, I've, I've been worried about that. There's screwy ways that people try to t steal people's prizes, which is dirty, and there's a special place. For you, if you do that. Tilamanki says he's emailing us now. All right. Emailing now. Yeah. Let's see if we can. 
But we are doing, we do have a consolation prize. Yes. For everyone else. Kyle, how do you want to give that one away? I think, I think the question was fun. I think another question, but like, right. let's do a random question maybe. Okay. I don't know any random You're... questions. That's scary. That's a lot of, that's a lot of pressure. Okay, sorry, we're just looking through comments here really quick again. Jack Sampson says, wait, I got it before him, but he didn't. He said Tony. Hmm, sorry, Jack. Tony was not the correct answer. Lurch was. All right, what's the question for the backlash giveaway? Jeez. Oh, Should we just look up, like, fun facts? <laughs> should we do a base? Should we do a baseball question? Well, I don't know baseball. No, let's do do, do 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 a knife question. Do give us knife. give us show us your knife knowledge. That I that's a hard one, Seth. Hmm. <laughs> Ready and waiting to answer. I love it. I love it. Okay. Sorry, I don't. What, we should have just thought of a question for this one. Um. Let's say. Let's do. Let's go. What's a what's a Civivi um, trivia question? Just give it to the other Seth. <laughs> Good comment, Seth. Seth, does there, do people ever call you Zeph or Jeff or Zelf or like all kinds of weird names because apparently you can't say your name properly? I get that all the time. Okay, um, the question is, I don't have a question. Yeah, I don't have a question either. Sorry, we can't pause and cut this video, so now we're, that, no, we're just live, guys. Yeah. The answer is Praxis. What's my favorite color? Mm -hmm. How many is in Civivi? You guys have great, you guys have great questions. Oh. Oh, CVV, it might be. Don't don't worry, C. Lemensky. We'll get it. And uh, if you send us an email, we'll get we'll get you taken care of. Okay. Oh, the answer is was up, guy. Hmm. We, uh, let's see, a um, couple things for you guys to know. We are going to be exhibiting at the NRA show for the first time while Kyle thinks of a question. I'll think of something, we'll come in. And then we gotta jump over to the other channel right here pretty soon, but um, we are exhibiting at the NRA show for the first time. If you're gonna be anywhere near Houston this weekend, come and say hi. Um, we would love to see you there in person. And we're also obviously gonna be at the Blade show the following weekend um, in Atlanta. Um, and the... Um, if you're guys, if you're not a part of our Facebook group, um, please go and uh, jump in uh, and uh, sorry, uh, join the Facebook group. Um, I have a limited number of what's called the customer appreciation passes for Blade Show. Um, I think we have something like 60 of those that we have, uh, and we're going to post in our Facebook group a coupon code so that if you um, are going to Blade Show, you can get a discounted pass that gets you in an hour earlier than the regular public. So I'm gonna be posting that up there. Make sure that you go over to our Facebook page and um, get signed up to it. Not the page, but the group and get signed up there. Okay, did you get, you got a question? Let's see, does this one work? Mm. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. I like it. It's cool. a little, it's, it's, it's tough. Somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna have to Google it. <laughs> or so, or whoever knows it will be fast. Okay, go for it. Okay guys, so the question for the backlash is, what steels are in our Damascus? Our Damascus has around 110 layers of steel. Two different steels. What are those steels? Yes, that's exactly. 
<laughs> Cold Steel Bravo? No. Tense. Yeah. Oh. Biggie 6 8. Biggie 6 8 was fast. Here, wow. Here. I mean, that was. Oh, they're start, yeah, they're starting to come in now. Well, that's after some Googling. <laughs> <laughs> or the delay. There's like a 30 second delay. Oh, you're right. You're right. Let's, let, let's call. Who was that? We got to call it. Biggie68. Biggie68, you were the first one. Congratulations. You win one of our all time favorite knives from Civivi, The Backlash. So give us a, an email. You're going to send that to marketing at and it's his birthday. .com. No way. Well, happy birthday, Biggie68. Biggie68, happy birthday. Congratulations. Um, shoot us that email. <laughs> See Lemansky. Go Biggie68. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, guys, we are moving from here. We're going to run across town to the Wii Studio. And we're going to start another video on that channel. Now, we got a lot of people here on, on this channel right now viewing. Um, so I hate to lose you guys, but we're trying to uh, keep things clean and keep all the, all the info for the Wii Knives on the Wii channel and the Suvivi stuff on the Suvivi channel. So we're going to cut off right here. We're going to run across town to the Wii studio, and we will be right back. Thank you so much for joining, guys. It's been really fun, and we're going to keep it going over on the Wii channel. See you guys there.